in this episode, we're going to make Grandma Giggles Jewish Mondel bread. Or, wait a minute, spaghetti, wait a minute, no, spaghetti, that's not it. No, it's biscotti, no, it's Jewish biscotti. Biscotti. It's Mandel bread. Michael, would you get your fucking word right? It's Mondel bread. Mon, Mondel. <laughs> Grandma Giggles' Mondel bread recipe is just an amazing thing. Um, from when I was a little kid in Brooklyn, Grandma always made apple cake, cookies, you know, what she made. Mondel bread was my favorite. <coughs> I'm telling. And uh, I begged her for the recipe. She gave me the recipe, and I just started making it. And it was just a hit every time, of course, it packs the saddlebags on. I'm looking for my horse, honey. Right, Mitch? <laughs> All right, so how about half a sugar? Where, wait, wait, where's your glasses? Yeah. Hi, everybody! You what? I didn't bring them. Shit. How old are you now? Tell the old truth. Old enough to pour sugar. You're old enough to need glasses, okay? Here. Step two is three large eggs. Crack it, Michael, by the lovely Mikey. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to mix it. Ooh. Okay, let's have a mix. Wanna hold that, Michael? Stop looking, just when you're standing there to look so pretty, just hold the goddamn. All right, step three. One cup of vegetable oil. Let's see, where's the oil? Oh, mix the vegetable oil. Let's pull the thing up there. You know how to pull the thing up, Michael, I'm sure. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Ah. All right, so now we're going to pour in the next four ingredients, which is the flour. Three and three quarters cups. Here, Michael's going to put that in for me. Because he's not the slob that I am. Uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon banana. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. You know, when I was a kid, Grandma used to mix every Thing by hand. I wonder why she had such strong forearms, Grandma Giddle. Our next step is putting in the semi-sweet morsels. Woo! For those of you who love chocolate, let me, yeah, that'll be, someone will clean that up. Put on the 350 degree oven. I wish I was a dancer on Hullabaloo in the 60s. I'm just saying. Then add the Pam. I love me some Pam. Grandma Giggle used Crisco oil. You know, she would take it out with her hands and smush it all around or something. And of course, a few times she got her, and when we ate it, she had her Band-Aids in there, I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> Looks like a 65-year-old woman's boobs, doesn't it? And they start to like levitate going down like my mother and grandmother did were down here, you know? And you know, in Coney Island, how when you'd go down to the beach, their boobs would be like down to here and you'd be, they'd be throwing. I never could understand why they went in the water and they always throw it on their back like that. Here we go, we're putting it in the oven, the 350 degree oven. And now we put it in. Okay. And now, 25 to 35 minutes later, you'll have mandel bread. Of course. I wouldn't recommend it taking out of the oven with bare hands, but I'm a special case. I've got Teflon coated fingers. Woo! Before you put all the hazari, which is um, the cinnamon and sugar on it at the end, you have to cut it diagonally, and I have a bagel knife for that. That's what I like to use into pieces, like little mini loaves. You put it in for another five minutes, and then when it comes out, it looks so good, it's ready to eat. Mondo bread for everyone. Who wants a taste? I do uh, Okay, here you go. Thanks. Yeah, shut up. Go start. continue playing. I'll put it in your mouth. Get lost. How about you, Mikey? Oh, you want one, Mikey? You taste one. Okay, the recap on Grandma Giggles, Mondo bread or Jewish biscotti, if you want to call it that. You need some sugar, you need some flour, you need some eggs, you need some oil, you need some chocolate chip morsels, more sugar, some vanilla. Knead the whole thing together, put it in two little loaves, put it in the oven at 350, three, 30 minutes later you take it out, put some hazerite stuff on top of it, you cut it with like a bagel knife, then you put it in another five minutes, Take it out and it's ready to eat. Okay, see you next time. Bye.